All right, let's dive in. Welcome to the deep dive. Today, we're going to be taking a deep dive into KRC20 tokens. Oh, yeah. They're all the buzz right now on the Casper network. Right. Um, and they've got everyone talking to us, you know, are they worth the hype? Yeah, that's the question. Are they a smart investment? Mm -hmm. Are they just a passing fad? Mm -hmm. Or could they even be uh, risky? Yeah. That's what we're here to unpack today. And what's so interesting about KRC20 tokens yeah. is that they're not smart contracts. Okay. They're built using a similar technology to uh -huh. Bitcoin inscriptions, uh, which allows for the creation of these tokens on the Caspa network. So it's like attaching data to a transaction. Exactly. To signify that it represents a specific token. Right, exactly. And the potential here is huge. Yeah. It's not just tokens. Right. We could be talking about NFTs. Yeah. We could even be talking about decentralized exchanges, mm -hmm. all built using this inscription-like tech. Built on Caspa. But what's really got everyone's attention is this explosive growth. Hundreds of KRC-20s have launched already. Yeah. Generating millions of dollars in COSPA fees. Right. In such a short period of time. Which I think is a testament to the excitement around COSPA itself. Totally. And its potential. And that's what makes it so interesting, right? Yeah. Because it's like when we look at, uh, you know. COSPA is built for scalability. So right. unlike Bitcoin, it can handle this massive amount of activity. Right. Without without these crazy high fees. We're slinging fees, yeah. Right. I mean, look at the numbers COSPA recently processed. Yeah. Over 2.2 million transactions in a single day. That's wild. With minimal fees. And I think that's what's so exciting about it, too, is like really? that fee generation is actually good for COSPA security. Absolutely. Which is a concern for a lot of crypto projects. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of listeners out there are thinking yeah. about the investment opportunities. Right. We've seen similar hype cycles with Bitcoin's BRC20 tokens, yeah. um, some of which have garnered significant value. Mm -hmm. So it's like, is this going to be the same? It's important to approach this with a balanced perspective. Okay. Um, so let's talk about the bull case first. Okay. Um, the fact that KRC20s are attracting this attention right. and new users to CASPA is undeniably right. a good thing. Okay. Um, plus, you know, that fee generation yeah. that we talked about strengthens the network security. Exactly. And then you can't forget about... Yeah the meme coin mania right. <laughs> krc 20s has become oh yeah a breeding ground for meme coins yeah and there are some that are standing out from the crowd okay um we've got nacho uh-huh which is the adorable caspa mascot cat right um and he's actually endorsed by a lead caspa developer interesting which is pretty wild yeah we've got casper the ghost right which is obviously you know a playful nod to caspa's ghost egg protocol yep um and then we got shadow paw shadow paw the detective dog. Interesting. I love it. Um, and what makes these interesting is that okay. they're all community driven. Right. Fair launches, yeah. strong narratives, mm -hmm. active fundraising efforts to get listed on exchanges. And historically, exchange listings right. have led to pretty significant price increases for meme coins. Totally. So that's definitely something to watch. That's something to watch. But yeah. let's head over to the skeptics corner now. Let's do it. Bring in a little bit of reality. Yeah. What do you think? Well, most KRC20 tokens, just like many of those hyped up Bitcoin ordinals, right. probably won't be around long term. Okay. It's a volatile landscape. Yeah. Plus, smart contracts are coming to CASPA. Right. And it's still unclear whether these early KRC20 tokens will be compatible mm -hmm. or if a whole new wave of tokens will emerge. Yeah, it's like, well, will your old flip phone apps work on your new smartphone? Exactly. Yeah. We just don't know. Who knows? And this uncertainty right. adds another layer of risk. Yeah. To the KRC20 landscape. Exactly. And speaking of risk, um, yeah. we can't ignore the recent cashew wallet bug right. that caused some users to rack up these huge unintended transaction fees. Yeah, that was a tough one. Yeah, so it's a reminder yeah. of the risks involved in using third-party wallets in such a nascent space. Definitely. And then there's yeah. also the recent scam involving a fake KRC20 marketplace, Right. Um, which just highlights the importance of doing your research and yeah. sticking to well-established projects. Absolutely. Uh -huh. So speaking of doing your research okay. and you know, making sure that you're doing the right things, yeah. have you heard of BrianGarvin.com? I have, yeah. Brian with an I. Brian with an I. You can find a link in his YouTube bio to his free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. 
It's incredible. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, and it's packed with over 12,300 words. Wow. Of actionable advice on affiliate marketing. Mm -hmm. Building a thriving online business. It's a great resource. Simply submit your name and your email. Okay. Click the verification link. Right. Sent to your email address. Makes sense. So if you're looking to level up your online game. Yeah. Definitely check out BrianGarvin.com. That's a good one. All right. So okay. we've talked about the potential. Mm -hmm. We've talked about the Earth's height. Risks. We've talked about the risks. Yeah. But what does this all mean for you? Right. The listener. Yeah. Should you be rushing out to buy KRC20 tokens? Good question. What are the experts saying? Well, the experts that we've looked at okay. seem to agree that for now, sticking with investing in COSPA itself, okay. KAS might be the safer bet. Okay. But if you're intrigued by KRC20s yeah. and you have a higher risk tolerance, right. there are some things to keep in mind. Okay, let's hear it. You know, it's all about finding that balance mm -hmm. between excitement and caution. Yeah. What's really interesting about KRC20s right. is that they're really pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Okay. With COSPA. Remember, the network was designed okay. for speed and scalability. Right. It's like a super highway for transactions. Yeah, exactly. Like a super highway for transactions. Told you. But now with KRC20s, mm -hmm. we're seeing this like explosion of activity. Right. New tokens are being created. Communities are forming. Mm -hmm. People are trading. Mm -hmm. All generating tons of transactions and driving up those COSPA fees. Right. And it's like a traffic jam right. on the super highway. Yep. And I think some people could look at that and think, that's a problem. Sure. You know, it's a deviation yeah. from the original vision yeah. of a fast, low fee network. I think that's a valid point. Right. And it's interesting because it's reminiscent of that mm -hmm. debate we had around Bitcoin's BRC20 tokens. Yeah. Um, some people view those as like an attack yeah. on the network. Right. Um, but I think there's another way to look at it. Okay. How so? Isn't this also a testament to Costa's flexibility? its ability to adapt and evolve. So you're saying this could actually lead to... It could lead to... New innovations. New innovations that benefit the entire COSPA ecosystem. That benefit the entire ecosystem. Right. I like that. You know, so it's not necessarily whether KRC20s are right. good or bad in the long run. Right. It's how this whole experiment uh -huh. is pushing the boundaries right. of blockchain technology. It's like we're seeing... It's like we're watching a technological evolution yeah. in real time. Totally. Which is so cool. Yeah, and it reminds us right. that this space yeah. is constantly... In sure. flux, constantly in flux. What seems like a sure thing today totally. could be obsolete tomorrow. Yeah. Which is right. why continuous learning adaptation yeah, sorry. are so crucial in this space. Speaking of adapting and learning new skills... Yeah. Let's not forget about that incredible resource we mentioned earlier. Oh, yeah. BrianGarvin.com. Brian with an I. Brian with an I. Yes. Offers a free affiliate guide uh -huh. that <laughs> could be the key to unlocking your online business potential. I mean, it is packed. That's awesome. With over 12,300 words. Crazy. Of pure gold. I love that. Practical tips and strategies yeah, for anyone looking to succeed in the online world. I love it. So check it out. Simply submit your name and your email okay. on his site. Easy enough. And click the verification link sent to your email address. Makes sense. You'll find the link in Brian's YouTube bio. Go check it out. So yeah. let's zoom back in on KRC20s. Okay. Um, we've yeah. talked about the potential, the risks, the excitement. Yeah. yeah. Um, but now I think it's time to take a closer look at the technology itself. All right, let's get a little bit more technical. Yes. So how do these krc 20 tokens actually work their magic. Okay. Spill the beans. All right. So we've mentioned that they're built on this technology called Cplex, uh -huh. which operates similar to Bitcoin inscriptions. Right. Essentially. Yeah. It allows developers to create tokens. Okay. By attaching data right. to Caspa transactions. So it's kind of like writing a little message on a Caspa coin that says. Like writing a little message. Hey. Yeah. This represents a nacho token. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this yeah. is a good analogy. Yeah, I like that analogy a lot. It makes it simple. Keeps it simple. Um, but we need to talk about the limitations as well. Yeah. This is still very young technology. Right? Absolutely. Very young. And that's where that cashew wallet debacle comes into play. Right. The bug in the wallet that led to some users getting hit with these massive unintended transaction fees. Yeah, that was a tough one. Um, a harsh reminder. It was that in this early stage of development, 
things can go wrong. Yeah. And security is absolutely paramount. For sure. It, it was a reminder that right. things can go wrong. Yeah. Security is paramount. And it highlights the need for caution when using yeah. third-party wallets. Yeah, especially in such a new and untested space. Especially in a space like this yeah. where things are moving so quickly. Exactly. And I think it underscores the importance of the CASPA community okay. working together to identify and fix these issues. Totally. Um, and the fact that developers are actively addressing these problems mm -hmm. and working to improve the technology yeah. is a positive sign. That's a great sign to see. You know, shows no. commitment to making KRC-20s a, a viable, yeah. secure part of yeah. the CASPA ecosystem. Of the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. um, but there's still a lot of debate about whether KRC-20s oh. will even be compatible yeah. with CASPA's upcoming smart contracts. It's a great question. Right. Some believe that they'll be phased out and replaced by, okay. you know, a new generation of tokens built specifically mm. for the smart contract environment. Okay. It's like upgrading from a flip phone right. to a smartphone. To a smartphone. You know, will the old apps work? Right. Will they transfer over? On the new device. Right. I like that analogy. That's a good analogy. Yeah, it's simple. Um, right. But I've also heard that yeah. they could potentially evolve. Sure. And integrate with smart contracts right creating even more possibilities yeah there's definitely potential for that right and that's what makes this whole krc 20 narrative so fascinating hey, what makes it so interesting it's not just about yeah potential profits right although that's certainly part of it yeah of course it's about being part of something new yeah. and groundbreaking i love that you know it's about exploring yeah. uncharted territory Great and you. pushing the boundary we're witnessing the birth yeah. of a new technological frontier Exactly. Which is so cool. It is very cool. And speaking of exploring new frontiers, okay. don't forget about BrianGarvin.com. Brian with an I. Brian with an I. Yes. His free affiliate guide. It's a great resource. Is an incredible resource. It is. For anyone looking to navigate. The sometimes treacherous waters. Yeah. And of the online business world. Those treacherous waters. Yeah. I've been there. So. Yeah. We've talked about the bull case. The skeptics view, mm -hmm. uh, the tech behind KRC twenties, yeah, the potential risks, right. But there's another layer to this story that I think is really important to unpack. Oh, really? Okay. And that is the human element. Ah, yes. The people. The people. The communities. The communities. The emotions. <laughs> yes. The psychology Sitting behind all of this. Behind all of this. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just about the technology. Right. It's about the people who are driving. It's the people who are driving it. This KRC-20 phenomenon. This phenomenon, yeah. And it's about understanding their motivations. Totally. Their fears. Yeah. Their hopes and their dreams. Right. I, I think a lot of it comes down to okay. the allure of early adoption. What do you mean by that? So CASPA itself yeah. is still relatively new. Very new. And uh -huh. KRC-20s are even newer. Even newer. Right. So there's a sense of excitement and possibility uh -huh. in being involved in something yeah. At its very beginning. It's like discovering a hidden gem exactly. before anyone else knows about it. It's like you get to be part of something special, right. something that could potentially change the world. Yeah. And there's also a, a strong community aspect okay. to KRC20s. Okay. Many of these tokens mm -hmm. have vibrant online communities full mm -hmm. of passionate individuals who are eager to yeah. share ideas, support I, each other. Totally. And even collaborate. Yeah. on marketing and development. Which is cool. You know, it's that classic crypto spirit of mm -hmm. decentralization and yeah. community ownership. And of course, you can't forget about- And of course- The power of memes. Oh yes, the <laughs> memes. Sorry. Meme coins have become a major force yeah. in the crypto world. You're cute. Tokens like Nacho, Casper the Ghost, mm -hmm. and Shadow Paw have captured people's imaginations right. with their fun and relatable narratives. Yeah. And they're adorable mascots. It's hard to resist a cute cat or a dog meme. Yeah. It's hard to resist. Even in the world of cryptocurrency. Right. But, you know, yeah. while these communities and memes can be mm -hmm. fun and engaging, right. um, it's important to remember yeah. that they can also fuel hype yeah. and speculation. And that's where the risk of FOMO. The fear of missing out. The fear of missing out comes in. Yeah. You know, people see a yeah. meme coin's price skyrocketing. Totally. And they jump in without doing their research. Mm-hmm. Hoping to make a quick profit. Hoping to get rich quick. Hoping to get rich quick. Right. Um, yeah. And unfortunately, that often leads to people buying high and selling low. 
Buy high, sell low. Losing money in the process. Classic. It's the classic crypto roller coaster. Crypto roller coaster. Totally. And that's why it's so crucial. Yeah. To approach KRC 20s and any investment, really. Right. With a level head. Don't let your emotions. Don't let FOMO or hype. Yeah. Dictate your decision. Make those decisions for you. Do your research. Yeah. Understand the risks. Yeah. And only invest what you can afford to lose. Speaking of sound financial advice, okay, I have to mention BrianGarvin.com one more time. Brian with an I. Brian with an I. Yes. His free affiliate guide. I mean, it's an incredible resource. It's an incredible resource. It is. For anyone looking to build a solid financial foundation uh -huh. and diversify their income. You're absolutely right. Right. Over 12,300 words of life-changing information. It's wild. It's an amazing opportunity yeah. to learn from an expert in the field. To learn from the best. So go check it out. Link is in his YouTube bio. Link in bio. Um, All right. So we've acknowledged the risks. We have. But we also have to acknowledge that these mm -hmm. tokens are attracting yeah. a lot of attention. A lot of investment. Mm -hmm. Millions of CASPA fees have been generated. Right. Millions. And some of these mm -hmm. tokens have seen yeah. significant price increases. Absolutely. So yeah. there's definitely something happening here. There's definitely something happening here. People are putting their money where their memes are. <laughs> I like that. And some are making profits. Right. Yeah. But it's still very early days. Okay. You know, it's impossible to say right. with any certainty yeah. which of these tokens will succeed mm -hmm. and which will fade away. Yeah. It's a high risk, high reward scenario. Kind of a classic crypto adventure, right? It is. And as with any adventure, uh, it's crucial to have a good map and a good compass to guide you. Ooh, I like where this is going. Hit me with that analogy. So your map in this case is knowledge. You know, okay. take the time oh. to really understand the technology, the risks and the market dynamics. Mm -hmm. And your compass is your own personal risk tolerance and your own personal investment goals. Oh, I like that. So don't just blindly follow the hype, right? right. Yeah. Use your knowledge, use your judgment to navigate this exciting but potentially treacherous landscape. Exactly. And remember, even if you're not ready to jump into, you know, the KRC20 frenzy right now, this is a space worth watching. Okay. This innovation and experimentation happening here could have a major impact on the future of COSPA uh, and the broader crypto ecosystem. It's like we're witnessing the birth of a new technological frontier. It is. Kind of reminds me of the early days of the internet. Ah, yes. Great analogy. Right. Back in the 90s when the internet was first taking off, you know, there was a similar explosion of creativity and experimentation. Totally. People were building websites, launching online businesses, exploring all sorts of new possibilities. It was a time of incredible innovation and excitement, but also a lot of uncertainty and risk. It was the wild west of the digital world. It was. Right. And a lot of those early internet companies didn't survive. Right. But the ones that did, they transformed our world. Exactly. And just like the internet eventually matured and transformed our world, I believe that KRC20s and the Caspa Network have the potential to do the same for finance and digital assets. It's mind-blowing to think about the possibilities. You know, what if KRC20s are just the first step toward a whole new era of decentralized finance? Yeah. Yeah where anyone can create and manage their own digital assets without the need for banks or other intermediaries. It's a powerful vision. Yeah. A world where financial power is truly in the hands of the people. Mm -hmm. And while we're still a long way from that vision becoming a reality, I think KRC20s and the COSPA network are pushing us in the right direction. It's like we're on the cusp of a financial revolution. Right. So as we wrap up this deep dive into the world of KRC20s, what's the one key takeaway you want our listeners to remember? The future of KRC20s, and indeed the future of the entire crypto space, is uncertain. There will be challenges, setbacks, and surprises along the way. But one thing is for sure, it's going to be an exciting ride. And that's what makes it so fascinating. This is a space worth watching, worth engaging with. To all our fellow deep divers out there, stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay engaged. The world of KRC20s is evolving rapidly, and there's always something new to discover. And remember, the best way to navigate this exciting but often confusing landscape is to do your research, think critically, and never be afraid to ask questions. Words to live by. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of KRC20 tokens. We'll see you next time for another fascinating exploration at the cutting edge of technology, finance, and the human experience. Until then, stay curious and keep diving deep.